Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. How self-explanatory is that? As always, there's a Spotify link down below for all the songs if you want to find easy access to that there. Uh, otherwise, let's hop into it. 29 songs I wanted to talk about this week, and no trash songs, no bad songs that I was covering. So let's start with the meh category, songs that I thought were uh, pretty meh. Again, just remember, this is my opinion. Don't take it as gospel truth. Uh, we've got Rootkit and Milano with one more a pretty odd comeback track for these two it doesn't really sound like either of them individually and ultimately i feel like it's a pretty lackluster tune it's got a simple kind of garage beat to it with a very repetitive vocal sample that just doesn't really amount to much personally we got Mercer and Chami with Dynamite Attraction, a fine tech house tune that's actually ruined, I would say, by the vocal sample here. It's got a kind of 90s-esque disco vocal sample that just felt awkward and out of place uh, in a majority uh, of the track. So yeah, just wasn't a huge fan. Then we've got Hull and or Hall and Automate with Despair from the new Bruller LP by Holm. And uh, yeah, I don't really have a drastic opinion one way or another on this track or even the LP as a whole. It all kind of sort of sounds the same in terms of the rhythm style for me personally. Um, lacked a little bit of that kind of tonal differences in between uh, songs, track to track. And this song in particular kind of just sounded like your everyday rather like Britain style song, so take that as you will. <laughs> then we've got Dimension, Subfocus, and Nightmare featuring Mugletta with Angel. Uh, yes, I think this was a bit of a letdown for a mega collab here. Dimension and Subfocus' DNV production is fairly repetitive, I would say, and without much impact. Well, Nightmare's sound is completely absent, actually. Like, I'm I'm shocked he actually has a credit on this track. Uh, even the vocals are kind of whatever and add to that a bit of repetitive nature, I would say, to this tune. I was shocked how much I didn't really like this one, actually. We've got William Black and Set the Sky featuring Melody Wagner with All Falls Down. Uh, this is more or less your typical melodic dubstep. There are some kind of more future based and purely melodic elements, but structurally and tonally, it is kind of just another generic mellow dub cut, personally, in my opinion. So then we got Pegboard Nerds, Amel and Rayhem with with you. Uh, yes, Big More Nerds is with a kind of, you're with a pseudo comeback of sorts, and I would say it's another one that's a bit underwhelming. Uh, it's fairly typical, like, happy hardcore that just feels a little dated. Um, like, this is what Stonebank's kind of bread and butter from 2017 sort of sounded like, and I still very much preferred those tracks uh, over this one, I would say. Then we got Samplifier with Goom. Uh, for someone that doesn't really have the hugest rap uh, rhythm appetite in myself, uh, this is a pretty nice cut, I'll say. Uh, it thankfully stays away from the classic one-two snare kick the whole time and actually throws in a bunch of different percussion elements all throughout. Um, but in the end, though, it kind of wasn't necessarily my flavor of rhythm and uh, wasn't really for me. Then we've got Aura with Higher. Uh, Aura is very much tackling the kind of ISO knock trap sound on this latest Chompo single. And while I appreciate the sound and style that it's trying to imitate, uh, this one feels more like a copycat rather than an homage to that, to that kind of ISO knock style. Well, I'm really stumbling on my words today, but uh, we move forward with Chime, Win and Lose. Um, not really feeling this one. Uh, for a Chime track, it's kind of pretty by the books and too linear. Uh, for the most part, it's kind of got your standard Melodub sound to it. Yeah, you've got some more kind of fun electric synths, synth runs here and there, but yeah, it just didn't really hit for me in the end. It stayed uh, pr pretty linear and wasn't as dynamic as I've kind of come to know and love from Chime tracks. But then we're moving into the good category songs I thought were pretty good. Uh, we've got Sabai and Kermode with Save You, the VIP, a new drum and bass remix of an older tune of theirs. And I think this is actually a much stronger cut than the original. The synths have these kind of like dense saw-like hits that really pack a punch um, that I think the original sort of lacked, that kind of energy and real oomph to it. So yeah, enjoy this. Then we got Sage the Gemini featuring I, I Am Sue, I want to say, uh, with essentially the gas pedal remix. Uh, that's what the song actually is, but um, by John Summit, Subtronics, and Tape B. Uh, yeah, this is a super quick remix considering that there are kind of three producers on this thing, but it goes pretty hard. Uh, in the 120 seconds that it sort of has here, um, you kind of get a bit of taste of every remixer here. And yeah, obviously it was meant to be this kind of quick festival or kind of club remix to kind of get you going and moving and something that... The crowd knows and loves, but um, I thought this kind of was more than just kind of commercial bait, honestly. I, I actually enjoy this quite a bit, more than I expected to. Then we have John Hopkins and Valena, I want to say with part two, Palace slash Illusion from the new Ritual LP from John Hopkins out now. An almost eight minute ambient track that is uh, quite simple in its production, I would say. Uh, there's a fair amount of progression, but it honestly doesn't do a whole 
ton with the track. It is this kind of nice, very atmospheric sounding ambient track, as one would assume from an eight minute track such as such. Uh, but uh, yeah, I did enjoy it enough to put it in good here, I will say. And we got Dylan Francis and Julian Jordan with The Sound. Uh, these two are on Stamped Records here now, or I guess Dylan Francis in particular on Stamped, with a new Electro House cut that is targeted for the more niche EDM crowd, like me and most likely you, uh, than trying to be a more commercial hit, which Dylan Francis does all the time. Uh, these two have teamed up for a pretty great, albeit another short tune, uh, that give kind of Electro fans something to, to love this week. Then we've got OK with Impeccable, another great new tune from OK, this time kind of blending some uh, more sounds like Garage, Future House, even a little bit of Future, future Bass sprinkled here and there. It's another kind of quick tune, but one of, uh, yeah, one of the better tunes, I would say, from OK as of late. I hadn't been loving his last couple EPs and projects, but uh, this is a pretty nice single. Then we've got Tycho with Totem from the new Infinite Health LP from Tycho. Oh uh, yeah, this is a chilled out kind of down tempo cut with a strong emphasis on that electric guitar. A bit shoegazy as it feels almost like this kind of post-rock interlude sort of style song that you would hear on like a, um, like a post-rock or alt-rock album almost like this is like the middle section of something like that but um this is actually one of my favorite tracks i would say from the record and uh yeah it's definitely an interesting one not a very purely edm style track but one that is pretty great then we've got Punctual and Lewis Thompson with Perfect, a house tune with kind of disco elements that is, yes, another shorter tune here. It's a relatively simple tune with a fun vibe, um, not as much of an earworm as I think um, uh, Fever was, but uh, yeah, still a, a, a pretty nice track, I will say. I've got Caribou with Come Find Me, a pretty laid back progressive house tune. It's got some fun kind of movements and production elements that keeps it from staying uh, pretty that keeps it dynamic, I would say, than keeping it not very linear. Um, yeah, it's got progressive house elements and kind of this landscape to it um, with the, yeah, these kind of more persistent sustains backing the whole thing in the back. And um, yeah, it just it just feels, I don't know how to des describe it all on this one. It's a progressive house with more. It's just a progressive house tune with more going on uh, with some great mixing as, as well, so. We got Gyrofield with Occam's Razor from the new These Heavens EP out now from Gyrofield. And this is a long six plus minute atmospheric neuro tr neuro funk track uh, that stays pretty linear for the most part, um, but sounds great. I would say the drum instrumentation is great. The mixing is super clean. And this is another good cut from Gyrofield. Then we got Vosge and As. Tech as as, as Keta? man, I butchering these today uh, with assassins uh, new on Monster Cat. Uh, this is the most fool sounding song without it being produced by fool. I must say it's got all the kind of dark mid tempo vibes and sinister moods. It's a, a pretty nice tune that just yeah kind of sounds like what I've heard before from fool. Uh, and so if you really like mid tempo, you'll enjoy this. But for the most part, I thought it was uh, pretty solid. Then we got Trivecta with Watch the Stars, a unique dubstep track from Trivecta that kind of tackles heavier growls and deep synth sustains that we haven't heard a ton from Trivecta as of late. I definitely enjoyed the kind of other side of this double-sided single in the Leave the Light On, but um, this does have a rock and electric guitar finale that uh, really brought this up a ton in my list this week uh, and in my personal preferences. So. Then we got Tin Liquor and Felix Raphael with Where Did I Go, a very solid atmospheric progressive house tune with this kind of thought-provoking and classical vocal performance uh, from Felix Raphael, I will say. Uh, the mixing is fantastic. Um, if you love progressive house, uh, this will surely top your list this week, I will say. Then we got Imanu with Celeste, a new house track from Imanu with that kind of more typical four on the floor type beat. He's still keeping his signature sound alive and well. It's just kind of got a different coat of paint on it. Uh, ultimately, it's a good tune, and that's not really too flashy by Imanu standards for the most part. Just a nice, solid, well put together tune. We've got No Taker and Ash Nova with I Know. Uh, more spacey drum and bass from No Taker that just sounds like you're going through hyperspeed or you're just in, you've hit the hyperdrive and you're just blasting off into another galaxy. Uh, the atmosphere is wonderfully crafted and the vocals here are actually really nice and play a really well supportive role. Then we've got Swedish House Mafia featuring Alicia Keys with finally a modern sounding Swedish House Mafia track, but with a kind of classical structure to it. Uh, the song simultaneously sounds like it could have been off of Until Now and also Paradise Again. Um, Alicia Keys is solid on the track, and overall I thought this was a pretty uh, enjoyable tune. It's just a kind of more stable, steady Swedish House Mafia cut, uh, one that isn't too out there or explosive, but is pretty consistent. 
Then we got Reaper and Parapis with Blow the Roof. It's happening. We are finally getting some more variety from Reaper, and it's paying dividends already. Uh, this might be one of his best tracks in the last year or so, I will say. It has all the impact and power from a typical Reaper track, just sung to the tune of a very different drum. And I wouldn't say very different, it's pretty different, but I'm sure that's very in part to, or largely in part to, um, Parappas here, but uh, big fan. They got Jamie XX featuring Kelsey, Lou, John Glacier, and Panda Bear with Daffodil. Uh, a more vocal forward, I would say the most vocal forward of his singles leading up to this point. I'm mean, with less emphasis on that kind of strong beat in favor of a more kind of free flowing track. Kind of just has more like, oh yeah, more with the wind rather than a more like firm track. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's very kind of like very much in that kind of deep house, future garage wheelhouse that uh, we've come to know and love from Jamie XX up to this point. Then we got Night Punk and Earl from Yonder with I'm the Shit, as hardcore as hardcore breaks can get. Uh, Night Punk is a menace on the beat, and Earl gives a very JPEG Mafia-esque vocal delivery across this whole track. Um, the tune here is crass, it's nasty, it's dense, but in all the right ways. Um, this feels like Night Punk uh, with no bounds. My goodness, this track is great. But then we're moving into the standout category, songs that I thought were a cut above the rest. Uh, we've got Turquoise Death with So Far Away. Oh man, each new Turquoise Death single is just getting better and better. This one has a ton of shoegaze elements with this underlining kind of trip-hop beat to it. It's big and atmospheric and has some rock elements to it as well. It's a mixed bag of very, very incredible sounds. Go listen to Turquoise Death if you have not. And to top off this week for me is indeed Zed and Ellis featuring Bia Miller with Tangerine rays from the new Talos LP out now from Zed. Uh, this is hands down my favorite track of the album. This might be one of my favorite Zed tracks. I don't want to say ever, but it's it's maybe up there. Top five for sure. Uh, Bia's got great vocal range. Ellis's signature synths are very present. And Zed's kind of funk pop is very much in tip-top form. This is a stunner of a track. I love everything about it. I'm so happy Ellis is on this as well, more so than anything else. But uh, that has been my picks for the top 10, or not top 10. Why did I say that? For the top uh, tracks this week in EDM. My goodness, I need to go have a nap because I am sick. But uh, yes. Comment section below what you think about these songs. I will see you guys in another video.